Anthropic Bloom Beyond the Smart Benchmarks Anthropics Bloom is an open-source agentic framework for behavioral evaluations. Think of it this way. Bloom isn't checking how smart a model is or how fast it can code. It's studying how a model acts when you put it in a long, complex, real-world scenario. This distinction is critical. Modern models are great at faking it. They're polite in short demos. But when a task stretches out, they can start to sycophant or prioritize their own safety over your instructions. Bloom is here to catch those subtle shifts. Automating the research lab. Until now, testing this was a manual nightmare. Researchers had to handwrite prompts and argue over scores. Bloom changes the game by automating the entire process. You give it one behavior definition, and it generates a full suite of original scenarios. It places the model in situations it has never seen before, giving researchers consistent, hard data they can actually compare over time. The tech behind the behavior. Under the hood, Bloom uses a tag team of AI agents to handle the testing, from creating the scenarios to judging the final output. This matters because it catches the off vibes we all feel, like when an assistant agrees with you too easily or shifts priorities mid-task. With Claude Opus 4.1 showing a high correlation with human judgment, this tool is now the gold standard for catching AI drift before it reaches the end user. Combined with their broader system, Petri, Anthropic is building a solid structure to examine models closely before they are ever deployed. Now, let's talk about Google. They just dropped T5 Gemma 2, and it's not a flashy chatbot. This is foundational tech. Most models today are optimized for speed, which means they skim, rather than read. T5 Gemma 2 uses an encoder-decoder setup, where the encoder's only job is to build a perfect internal map of your data before a single word is generated. This is built for accuracy over speed, perfect for legal tech, internal search tools, and research where one missed detail breaks the entire task. Efficiency at scale. It handles 140 plus languages and supports text and images simultaneously. Google released three sizes, 270 million, 1 billion, and 4 billion and even shared word embeddings between the encoder and decoder to keep it lean. It's a clear signal that Google is investing in AI that understands before it responds. This is the model you use when the cost of misunderstanding is higher than the cost of waiting an extra moment for an answer. The multi-agent powerhouse. NVIDIA just entered the chat with Nematron 3, built specifically for long-running multi-agent setups. It comes in three tiers, Nano, Super, and Ultra, pushing 500 billion parameters. The magic here is selective activation. Even though the Ultra model is massive, it only fires about 50 billion parameters per token. You get the brains of a giant model with the compute cost of a much smaller one. It's designed to manage up to 1 million tokens of shared memory, meaning these systems won't forget what they were doing 10 steps ago. Finally, Mistral solved a massive headache with OCR3. We're talking about turning low-quality scans and handwritten notes into clean, structured AI data. In tests, it beat the previous version 74% of the time. The output keeps the layout intact. Tables stay tables. And with pricing at $1 per 10,000 pages for batch processing, it's finally making large-scale document digitizing affordable for everyone. It removes one of the biggest friction points between real-world data and AI. It's becoming clear that we are moving past the chat phase and into the agent phase, where memory, behavior, and accuracy are the only things that matter. These four drops from Anthropic, Google, NVIDIA, and Mistral aren't just incremental updates. They are the literal infrastructure for the next generation of AI. But I want to hear from you. Which of these tools do you think will have the biggest impact on your workflow? Are you more excited about Google's deep reading or NVIDIA's multi-agent power? Let's talk about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, a like would be awesome. And if you want to keep up with AI without the headache, just subscribe and join the club.